Hello and welcome to a new video about alternating current. Last time we had a view, a look into the situation when we had a series connection of a coil and a resistance. Today we want to keep the resistance, but we want to add a, a capacitor. So we have a series circuit of R and C. Right? I've drawn again the situation, how it looks like. This is our situation and like last time I could say I'm not my own enemy and the combining element is again the current and again the current. I am using this with angle zero. Okay, there's a certain length. This is my complex representation of my current. I can select it so my current is going in this direction. Finito. Alright. Here is my current I. Good. Yeah? I can select simply the angle. I could have selected the current in another angle, but like I said, I'm not my own enemy. Let's again have a look what the other vectors, the other pointers I have then now to, to uh, adapt yeah? for this situation with this current. Let's have a look what this means for UR. It's R times i, right? so it's the Ohm's law, which is by the way important. Right? So we have r times, and now I write this in, i ej0, yeah? and this is actually, I call it ur ej0, yeah? and with ur equals r times i. So we have the same angle. Uh, here is my UR, right? same angle, zero in this case, uh, and that's it, we are in phase. With this length, big resistance, long R, small resistance, short R, it's, it's the same as in the previous video with the L inside. Now let's have a look at UC. What is the resistance 1 divided by j omega c. This was the resistance of a capacitor times i. And now I have already mentioned 1 divided by j is minus j. 1 divided by omega c times i. And now let's have a look. Here is somewhere here is let's say is minus j. What is minus j? Minus j has the has the length of 1 yeah, and has the angle of minus 90 degree. A minus J P half. P half is minus 90 degree in radiant. Okay, so this here, this is minus J. Length of 1, angle minus 90 degree. And then with this one, 1 divided by omega c. And what is our current? Multiplied by i, multiplied by a j0. And now we can, now we can start to multiply. And this one I will skip because the multiplication with one is not that important. So we had i divided by omega c. And this, and then we have those. So we have a j and we have to sum this up, we have minus p half plus zero. So we are ending up at i divided by omega c. Too many colors here at my. And here we have a minus j p half. And this is actually u c a jp half minus with uc equals i divided by omega c. So we have a certain length depending on the current, depending on the frequency, depending on the capacity, and we have an angle of minus 90 degree. So our uc is going down here. Here is our uc. This is our voltage at the capacitor. And now, what is our complete voltage? U equals 
ur plus uc yeah? think about the loop this must be this and this together yeah? so we have here uh, r times i plus or oh, minus minus 1 divided by omega c times i all right that's it actually if it would draw this here it would look like that yeah. vector addition here here we have our u and here we have our phase angle phi which is now negative because from current to voltage this is our phi our phase angle uh, here i can factor out so we have r minus one divided by omega c times i this stuff here I'm calling Z, the complex impedance of this stuff, which is R. There must be somewhere a J. I'm missing a J. <laughs> this, of course, I missed this J here. Ay, 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 ay. Minus J, 1 divided by omega C. So this is Z times A. Ohm's, Ohm's law for for uh, alternating current. So let's have a look at the set. We have R, real part. We have minus 1 divided by omega C as imaginary part. And here is our set. Here is our angle, our phase, phi. It's the same phi. Must be because we are just scaling. The I. Yeah. Well, how big is this phi? If we think about phi equals, and we have arcus tangens, opposite, length of opposite is 1 divided by omega c, adjacent divided by adjacent, so we have arcus tangens of 1 divided by omega c r. Mm -hmm. trigonometry again okay and if we want to have the power factor cosinus phi we have uh, hypotenuse adjacent yeah adjacent r divided by hypotenuse z so we need the length of z the absolute value of z and this equals square root of r squared plus one divided by omega c squared now i just have to write this in so we have r divided by square root of r squared plus one divided by omega c squared that's it yeah you see serious circuit of r and c was a little bit more tricky I think because with this minus j here and so on, a little bit more tricky than uh, R and L. Uh, but I think it was pretty nice, pretty you could follow. Uh, uh, well, so now we had a serious connection of R and L and a serious connection of R and C and so oh, they are behaving different, right? So one time this, this power factor or one time this phi is positive in inductive case and in capacitive case it's negative yeah what is happening if we are making a serious circuit of r c and l huh? so what if we if we do both huh? what what is cost then this we will have a look in the next video yeah? next video serious circuit of r l and c for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.